bright and early in the morning on our way to our cruise. So this is my outfit today. This is a custom made t shirt. We, uh, my sister in law made it for everyone, for the entire group. I have my Levi shorts, sheep sandals, and that's my traveling outfit. Hey guys, welcome to my Alaska vlog day one. Today marks the beginning of our journey as we step aboard the Royal Caribbean Brilliance of the Seas. Alaska cruise. Embarking on this exciting family adventure, a spirited group of 19 of us has gathered and ready to set sail together. Ooh. Where do we go now? Can we go to our No, we can't go to our room yet, right? We can go to the windjammer? Yeah. I guess all the shopping is here. There's some luxury shops, it looks like, or vintage shops. Some LD right here, Chanel apparently. And yeah, so this is just the entrance area. By the way, here's a savvy tip make sure to download the Royal Caribbean app. It allows you to check in, explore ship activities, watch the safety briefing videos, chat with group members, and much more. Also, if you board the ship early, you can enjoy a complimentary lunch right off the bat. After completing all the check-in procedures at around 11, including all the customs, we found ourselves on the cruise ship just in time for our first meal at the Windjammer Marketplace. It is a buffet-style lunch that was open from 11 to 3 p.m. Before going to our stateroom, we had to attend a mandatory safety briefing and check in at our muster station. We've enhanced this process. We've made it quicker and easier than ever before. On deck number four. Schooner our entrance on deck number six. We also had ample time to discover various areas of the ship and take a lot of photographs. You've probably noticed by now that we were all wearing matching t-shirts. Yeah, sure. So I just got in the room. It looks like I think the washroom is on this side. There's a um, little pull-up bed, a little sitting vanity area, and that's the bed and the ocean view a little window on the back. Now let's take a look at our stateroom. Ours was on deck two room 2000. It was a standard room with an ocean view, 164 square feet, but we later found out that most rooms were this size. However, I can tell you that all the space and storages was ergonomically designed. I'll share more of my final thoughts of the room in my vlog day seven. The Royal Caribbean Brilliance of the Seas Alaska Cruise provided a variety of experiences tailored for passengers of all ages, from entertainment choices like live shows, theater performances, movie screenings, dance shows, to amenities like a fitness center. Guests can also enjoy the pool, jacuzzis, shopping, and try their luck at the casino children can spend time at the kids and teens club. For the active crowd, sport activities such as ping pong, basketball, rock climbing, and mini golf are available. Nightclubs and lounges featuring live entertainment and DJs are also available for those who love a party.
As our cruise ship set sail around 4.30, we were able to enjoy the stunning Vancouver scenery, capture more picture as we approached the Lion Gates Bridge. Shortly after that, we headed back to our stateroom again to freshen up before going to our first fine dining dinner at Mistral. Our dinner reservation was set at 5 p.m. every day, which was a choice that we made as a group when we booked the trip. There are two set dining times available, 5 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. If you didn't have a set dining time, you can also walk in, although the queues can be quite long. Following dinner, we indulged in some live music by a strings piano duo, while others on deck spotted a whale. Before the night concluded, I found myself relaxing at a hot jacuzzi for some therapeutic heat. This soak was exactly what I needed to ease my tired muscles and joints. Finally, 
uh, each dinner and it was really good and I wanted to come to the pool before it closes so this is the adult solarium which um, I guess it's covered so they do open it to kids when it's the bad weather outside but it's quite nice here because we have the solarium to us um, the hot tub to us right now earlier there were still a few people here and there's also a swimming pool by the other side so it's quite nice um, and I guess maybe less people come after dinner because it's later and it's about to close as well Day one of our Alaskan cruise. By the way, loving this bag here. I have been using it the entire day. Super handy. I just put my phone in the front and my mask. I have some tissues. Enough about the bag. So I'm in my stateroom now. I just took my shower, curled my hair. Yes, I usually do that in the evening. The staterooms are pretty small, of course, depending on which stateroom you get. We have the standard stateroom with ocean view. So it's just a little window. So you get a peek of the outside ocean during the day. It's quite nice, but right now it's pitch black. Um, but it is pretty quaint and sort of, you know, tight spaces. So it is advisable to pack light but not so light that you get cold because again it's an alaskan cruise so you do get pretty cold once the ship starts um going um and it gets really windy and of course the temperature varies quite a bit but also don't overpack because again space is an issue although the configurations of everything with all the drawers and all the little um closets are pretty good so that's the end of day one hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you tomorrow that pretty much wraps up the highlights of day one thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on day two